Hi, my name is Vinod Rao from Group 10 TL5L of Multimedia Fundamentals and I'll be presenting the topic Time Independent Text from Lecture 3 on behalf of my group mates Ashraf and Amar. So, what is text? Text refers to any written or typed material that consists of several sequences of characters, words or sentences used to communicate information or express your thoughts and ideas. It could be anything as long as it is written with the most easiest example which are messages and books. And then we have fonts. If you have used Microsoft Words or PowerPoint before, you will be familiar with this. Fonts are a collection of characters of a specific font size and font style of a typeface. There are three characteristics of fonts. Font style, font size and typefaces. Font style, you can add bold, italic, Underlining, shadow effects, and outlining. Outlining is emphasizing a text box with shading and borders. Here's an example for bold, italic, and underlining. Uh, as you can see, for bold, it makes the text a bit more darker. For italic, it makes the text uh, lean to the right, while underlining adds a line across the whole text. Typefaces. Typefaces uh, character design or graphic representation of the text. It contains a series of fonts such as Cambria, Calibri, and Aeronero. And as you can see here, there's a lot more such as Roman, uh, Times New Roman, Onyx, Stylus, and on the right you can see different styles of the ty typefaces such as Formal, st Sturdy, Classic, and even Rigid. Font sizes are a distance from the top of the capital letter to the bottom of the descendants in a letter. They are usually measured in point size where 1 point is equal to 0 0.138 inches. There are 5 primary subcategories of typefaces and they are serif, sans serif, script, monospaced and display typefaces. Serif and sans serif typefaces are typically used for both body, copy and headlines while script and display typefaces are typically used for body and headline copy. Here is a video that compares the difference between serif fonts and sans serif fonts. So a lot of people have been wondering what's the difference between serif and sans serif fonts. Serif and sans serif fonts are basically the two most widely used families of fonts. Serif fonts have those small strokes at the top or bottom of the letter like those decorative flourishes. They are more widely used in print like books or newspapers. Sans is French for without, so sans serif fonts don't have the strokes and are more widely used on the web and in other more liberal mediums such as magazines. Depending on the choice of your font, you can influence how your brand is perceived. Serif fonts look more ornate and professional, whereas sans serif fonts look a little bit more fun, hip and young. And although I'm not convinced of this myself, many people suggest that serif fonts have better readability, making reading long texts much easier. Usually, there will be a jagged edges on a font's appearance when a bitmap image is resized. This is caused by the font being drawn on the screen one pixel at a time, thus making the font edges look jagged. However, there is a way to counter this problem, which is by using the anti-aliasing technique. Using this technique, the font's jagged edges are reduced, resulting in an overall smoother appearance. Lastly, we have font mapping. It is a process of specifying which font should be the substitute. The reason we must do this is because not all fonts and characters are cross-platform compatible, thus making it unreadable. Another solution is to convert those text into bitmap. This wouldn't change the text even if you are reading it on your phone. That is all from me. Thank you.